Now at the moment, I'm using the version 2.1.8 of GNS3. SolarPuddy is not directly integrated into this version of GNS3, but it will be from version 2.1.9 or 2.1.10. You can integrate SolarPuddy directly within GNS3 by changing the console application used. So as an example, if I close SolarPuddy and open up console connections, SolarPuddy is automatically launched and I have connections to each of the routers in my GNS3 topology. So again, router one, router two, and router three. To do that integration, you can go to Edit Preferences. Under General, select Console Applications, and then add this as a solar putty entry. So all you need to do is edit the current entry, paste in this value, which I'll add below this video, and then you can save it as a custom entry. So as an example, I'll save this as solar putty two, just to show you that I've changed the current entry. Click apply, and once again, if I close solar putty and click console here as an example, a console connection is opened to router one. Here's router two, console connection, there's router two, and again, right click on router three, click on console, a console connection is opened to router three. Now if you've got PuTTY still installed, you can go to custom console, and you could run any of the other applications, including PuTTY, and launch both a PuTTY session, as well as a solar PuTTY session. So as an example, notice as I'm typing commands here, they're shown directly in PuTTY and Solar PuTTY. So in other words, you can play around with Solar PuTTY without losing the ability to use PuTTY if you prefer to use PuTTY rather than Solar PuTTY.